Hi, this lecture is about Primes classification. Before going into this topic, let's see what is parallel commuting. In serial commuting, each instruction is executed in sequential fashion, one after another. Here in parallel commuting, instead of processing each instruction sequentially, here we use a different technique called parallel processing. This technique enables a system to perform concurrent data processing to achieve faster execution time. That is, here many calculations or execution of processes are carried out simultaneously. For example, while an instruction is executed in ALU, the next instruction can be read from memory. Parallel processor systems are designed to speed up the execution of programs by dividing the program into multiple fragments and processing these fragments simultaneously. Here, the program or the job are broken into discrete parts that can be executed concurrently. To achieve parallelism, the system should have two or more processors operating concurrently. Parallel computing systems are more difficult to program because there will be multiple CPU and the multiple CPU must be coordinated and synchronized. So the purpose of parallel computing is to speed up computer processing capabilities. Based on the number of instruction and data stream that can be processed simultaneously, computing systems are classified into four major categories. This is also known as Pliance classification. In 1996, Michael Pliant proposed a classification for computer architectures based on the number of instruction stream and data stream present in a computer system. He uses the stream concept for describing a machine structure. A stream is simply a sequence of items. An instruction stream is nothing but it's a sequence of instruction read from memory. And a data stream is nothing but it's a ploy of data. Based on his concept, he classified the computer architectures into four main categories. They are SISD stands for single instruction stream, single data stream, SIMD single instruction stream, multiple data stream, MISD multiple instruction stream, single data stream, and MIMD multiple instruction stream, multiple data stream. So let's see the first one. SISD. SISD stands for single instruction stream, single data stream. In SISD architecture, there is only one CPU. This there only one instruction is processed on data at a time. Here the blue arrow indicates the instruction stream and the red arrow indicates the data stream. We know a program reside in computer memory for execution. And the program consists of instruction and data. The instruction that is the instruction that is going to be executed to be made available to the control unit. So this blue arrow indicates the instruction stream since the instruction is coming from memory to the control unit. That the control unit decode the meaning of the instruction and the decoded portion of that instruction is given to the processor unit for further processing. While executing the instruction, it may take data from memory or it may write the result to the memory. So this red arrow indicates the data stream and it is bidirectional because during the execution it may take data from memory or it may write the data to memory. An SSD computing system is a single processor computer system which is capable of executing a single instruction operating on a single data stream. In SISD machine, in SISD machine instructions are pro processed in a sequential manner and computers adopting this model are popularly called sequential computers. That is, here instructions are executed sequentially one step after the next. 
all conventional computers have SISD architecture that is it corresponds to all traditional monoprocessor systems. That is there is only one processor that can do one job at a time from start to finish. This is SISD. Next one is SIMD, single instruction stream, multiple data stream. Here we can see that there is only one control unit, multiple processing unit and there is a shared memory. The shared memory consisting of multiple memory modules. Here the control unit fetch instruction from, is the control unit fetch instruction from memory and after decoding it broadcast control signals to all processing units that is at any given point of time all the processing units synchronously executing the same instruction but on different set of data hence the name SIMD on the other words we can say that an SIMD system is a multiprocessor machine capable of executing the same instruction or all CPUs but operating on different data streams. That is, here each instruction is executed on different set of data by different processors. This group is mainly dedicated to array processing machines. And machines based on an SIMD model are well suited to scientific computing. Third one is multiple instruction stream, single data stream or MISD. Here we can see that multiple instruction stream but there is only one data stream, incoming data stream and outgoing data stream. There is only one data stream but multiple instruction stream. Here multiple processors will be there and each processor execute different sequence of instruction but all these instructions operates on it operates on a single data stream that is multiple processors are here these processors operate on different instructions but on same common data stream that's why it is called multiple instruction over single data Here each processor executes different sequence of instruction but it operates on one single data stream. A common data stream is manipulated by separate processors each executing a different program. In practice this kind of organization has never been used. It's a rare type because the throughput is very limited here. Okay, the last one is MIMD, multiple instruction streams, multiple data stream. Here we can see that multiple instruction stream and also multiple data stream. In this type of system has multiple processors and these processors can execute different programs on different data. An MIMD system is a multiprocessor machine which is capable of executing multiple instructions on multiple data. It involves a number of independent processors each executing its own program and accessing its own sequence of data items. That is here multiple independent processors will be there each one executing its own instruction with its own data. All true microprocessor systems are the examples of MIMD architecture. This is a conclusion. First one SISD architecture has single instruction set and single data stream. All traditional monoprocessor systems are the examples of SISD architecture. And second one is SIMD. SIMD has one instruction set and multiple data stream. All vector processing computers and array processing systems are the examples of MIMD architecture. And the third one is MISD. 
एम ई एस डी हाज मल्टीपल इंस्ट्रक्ष सिंगि डेटा स्ट्रीम एंड द लास्ट वन ईज एम ई एम डी आर्किटेक्चर इट हाज मल्टीपल इंस्ट्रक्ष स्ट्रीम एंड मल्टीपल डेटा स्ट्रीम ऑल थ्रू मैक्रो मल्टी प्रोसेसर एंड मल्टी कंप्यूटर्स आर द एक्सापल ऑफ एम ई एम डी आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज आल अबउट फ्लैंड क्लासीफिकेशन Thank you